Okay. Uh, you're pursuing psychology while also having uh, a career in the field of politics. So is there any connection with them? How are you, how are you trying to connect these two and, the, and use the knowledge you take in university to apply in everyday life? Yeah, I mean, you know, with psychology, um, some people always think it's very distinct from politics, but the way I look at it is based on my experiences. It's always been kind of an interplay, a dance between the mind mm -hmm. and the people you surround yourself around with, the people you interact with on a daily basis. Um, I mean, think about like some political leaders, um, how they can affect you without really doing much. They say a word or two and it's... It, may, it, it remains with you for like years to come, charismatic leaders. That's psychology at play. Um, I think psychology does have a big role in the decisions you make on who you vote to, uh, the voter mood, for instance, um, what they think, their ideals. Um, it all plays into all of, all, all of this. But of course, it's not just individual psychology. You have a community psychology too that you have to consider. Um, let's say if you want to engage politically, um, and this is not just for politics, in any community leadership position, when you engage with a community, you need to consider the community you're engaging with. It's not a one size fits all. So be, me being in psychology, of course, kind of helps me understand that. Um, who am I talking to? What group am I engaging with? What are their needs? Um, and overall, it's pretty uh, connected. <laughs> Thank you.